I can run outside without being scared. <laughs> There was a airplane in Syria and they would always like drop bombs trying to get us. But now I can just play outside and run and like not be scared that I'm gonna get shot. When I get sad and when I think about Syria, I write stuff down. So I just like go outside, sit by a tree and like write down what I'm thinking about, right? All the reasons why I think I'm sad. Boom. There was five seconds of dead silence in my classroom. Our teacher began yelling for us to get under our desks. As I sat huddled on my desk at my new school, I couldn't believe we were getting bombed. The next thing I knew, the teacher was yelling for us to run. And I thought, run? Is she crazy? She wants us to run? All I could think about was my little brother, Zaid. Where is he? Is he okay? Am I going to find him before the bomb strike the school? The stories are real and it's happening in Syria. So I wanted to share that my stories So I wanted to help my country. When people read it, they react. They think all the stories are fake from the news and when they like read it, they think like a, a normal girl like me can have a story like that. A lot of Syrians that come here are scared to share their stories, but if like they do share their stories, then we're going to get more help for Syria. Now? Yeah, I have to more. December 4th, I don't like it. No? I don't like it. My mom, she means the world to me. <laughs> She helped me go through all those things. I don't think I would have survived without my mom. She's so brave and strong. She survived all of that. future I hope that um, that we could do something to help our country and we would all get my mom back and like all, for all she like for what she did and we would like return the favor I hope she will be famous writer <laughs> famous doctor and reach her gold in the life mm -hmm. <laughs>